Hi YouTubers, Diecast fans, friends, subscribers, ladies and gentlemen, K5 here. I'm going to talk about my accidental collection. Came across this model, uh, the Matchbox International Workstar Fire Truck National Parks Vehicle. Wasn't something that I was uh, intending to collect. Um, but uh, who could resist such a fine piece of uh, die-cast? Well, one thing led to another and uh, the next thing I knew was uh, this little Ford came along. Not too keen on the white at the back, but uh, yeah, but it was another National Parks. So that was two in the garage. And then I found this one. Yep, it's a, another National Parks vehicle. Well, because I had two, I had to have another one. So uh, that left me, that's three now. Then there was this uh, 60th anniversary vehicle that I spotted in one of Race Group's videos. And, uh, well, came straight out the box and yeah very nice as you all know this plastic piece comes off it's another one of these I think this is probably for moving the trees but anyway didn't stop there I had to buy a four pack in order to uh, buy a uh, Batman bat thing the matchbox variant managed to get something cheap in the sales and uh, in the box was this which is also a fire vehicle from the national parks there it is national parks on the top forest ranger but that's not all searching around for uh, the jaguar matchbox jaguar i kept on coming across this and uh, so I had to buy it. Must have seen about I don't know 20 of these vehicles before I bought one, but in the end, I had to relent and get a National Parks vehicle, <laughs> bit of a four, four wheel drive buggy. So, there we go. The National Parks collection, in my eyes, it's uh, for me it was an accidental collection, but a nice, interesting one, and some nice work fire vehicles. So there I was thinking, oh, that's the end of that then. And uh, this came along. Now I didn't know what this was, I just assumed it was just some made up vehicle. And then I looked a bit closer at it and I saw the little symbol on the front. So I did a bit of research, found out it was also a work star, or an international work star, a truck that had been converted into a Hard, well, obviously, a hard, heavy duty armoured vehicle that is actually used by the Canadian Armed Forces. And this one's uh, in a kind of Desert Ranger type colour uh, as a scout vehicle. So, there I was thinking, oh, that's, that's all that. <laughs> there we go again. And, oh, here's another one. So, that means I've now got three. Work style vehicles, internationals, all based on uh, on a truck design. Apparently, you can get five sumo wrestlers in there. There is more to this story, but uh, that's all I'm going to talk about for now. So this is uh, K5 signing off. Happy hunting, happy collecting, everybody. And this is my accidental collection video.
ta-ta for now.